this was our first set. Uh, the coyote came from behind us, across the creek in front of us, and just as he got to the top, we, uh, we got him stopped. Oh, he's belly up. We got him, brother. Let's go take a look at him. He's right here, Alex. Did you find him? Found him. All right. So this is a yoke tote. That's a yoke tote, my friend. See how it drags. Hey, well, let's get him back to the truck, and I'll let you do it since uh, you're the guest. All right, thank you. <laughs> yeah, this second set, uh, we set up on top on a flat to pull him out of a draw uh, that belonged to someone else across the fence. Uh, we called for a couple minutes, and we heard a lot of howling and yelling and barking behind us. Uh, this coat comes in in a minute. I guess he went down the draw and came up on the other side. Uh, he didn't quite get us winded before I got him stopped. Uh, it was about a 150 yard shot. And if you'll notice right before the shot, as the coyote's stopping, you'll see a hawk that's also interested in what we had going on. Uh, Seth, Seth waited, a, I waited about six seconds after I stopped him and uh, I apologized to him because I, I couldn't wait on him. But uh, it was a, almost a perfect scenario. We had parked the Argo about 200 yards behind us in some yucca. I'm really surprised the coyote didn't see it, but uh, it hides real well. That thumped hard. Well, we got her done again. <laughs> yeah, he's a good one. You know what this is, Seth? What is that, Alan? This is a yoke tote. Boy, this makes it easy. Well, Seth, we had a good morning. Yeah, I had a good morning. Watched Alan get medieval on a coyote. I waited for you on that second as long as I could, brother. I just sometimes have a hard time waiting. Yeah, that's my fault. But no biggie. The next one, I think I'm going to put the fox pro on my chest and just choke him to death. Go and choke you with the yoke toe. There you go. Thank you all for watching and come back and see us.